What's up, my dude? So I got another donation from Evan Steinberg, and this one is for $15.03. So that puts his total to $35.03, which makes him the top donator of all time by three cents. And he says, got that top donator red play? Fuck the haters. Let them hate. Talk shit. Talk shit. So we got Mud Tester. Now we have mud tester we've got rut tester we've got a road tester <laughs> what's next dude oh my gosh man gotta love it so i've never rode on this track with the rain wetness at all uh okay yeah the entire track <laughs> looks totally different and i've never rode on a sand track with the wetness on so i was wanting to come in here and kind of test this out a little bit specifically to get a nice little look ski at that and see how much different the wet track on the sand is versus the wet track on the normal, you know, hard pack, clay, all that type of stuff. Okay, doing a little slidey slide, see if we can get around some of these dudes. Okay, but yeah, just the atmospheric effects off in the distance. I always thought they did a really good job on that in these milestone games. You know, the graphical look of the rain and the way it looks on the track, all that type of stuff is done really, really well in these games. Oh, nice little water slide right there. Uh, really happy to actually see that. Um, so, yeah, it's interesting. This I know the last wet track I was on, I can't remember if it was clay or what it was, but it didn't really feel all that slick at all to me. So I'm wanting to see if the rain on a sand track really makes all that much more of a difference. I don't have a lot of real-life experience riding on a wet sand track, so I can't exactly say how that would be in real life um i have rode on a lot of like you know just standard like hard pack dirt normally but it's wet <laughs> basically so i've rode on that which is like literal ice so yeah I, I would assume that wet sand would be a bit more forgiving maybe it's not i don't know i mean you know how sand is you got to basically hold it what the faster you go the better it feels right so i feel like wet sand it just kind of maybe amplifies that a little bit. I'm not really sure. Like, it, it's still probably better than riding on a wet, normal dirt track. You get what I'm saying? Because that sand probably soaks up a lot of that wetness. And I, I just figure it would make it not as bad, but I could be totally wrong on that. Wet sand could be, like, hellacious. I'm not exactly sure. Um, you know, I don't live in Florida where there's just, like, sand all over the place and rain all over the place. We just, we have to do the damn rain dance where I live, you know, just hoping and praying to God we get any of rain. Uh, so it's like, you know, it's, <laughs> but we don't really have sand either. So it's like, uh, there is one sand track around where I live. So I've rode, you know, on a sand track, uh, I don't know, probably like 20, 30 times, something like that. But that's about the most I've ever had, uh, experience wise on a sand track. I love sand tracks. I think they're really cool. I think they're hard on the bike for sure. And when I say sand, I mean like, you know, hardcore sand, not like sand mixed with loam. Um, I love sand mixed with loam, like what a James Stewart style track is. That's like the perfect kind of motocross track that you can possibly have. But what I'm talking about, what's close to me is like just straight sand. So it's like, you know, you got that bike wide, wide ass open, feeling like you're absolutely destroying your engine in every single corner. But it has to be in those RPMs or you're not going to go anywhere. You're going to bog it out. So it's like that true sand type of feel. Um, but when you when you have that sand mixed with loam, it's kind of got that where it's like you can really get in the cush of the corner and really feel like you can hold it wide open in a corner, but it doesn't totally rev out the bike. You get what I'm saying? There's a little bit of normal loam dirt to it as well. So that's my favorite kind of dirt period is that like loam mixed with sand i think it looks amazing um but yeah i mean that's just that's that's the coolest i think i also love you know brownie mix style hawaii type of dirt looks and stuff like that too but yeah okay so we're in fourth place here let's just take a little little sight into what this does once we get further on down the laps should be able to catch the front here in a second obviously you're going to have to go slower with the rain like this. I mean, that's not like a big surprise to anybody. Um, and obviously the sand has its own kind of friction to it. So it is definitely different feeling than the wetness on the other track that I was on. That's for sure. So that's a good sign. Uh, you can see it kind of sliding a little bit in some of these corners. Okay, let's see. So jump up to this. 
then come around here, see if we can run up that inside. It's a little sketch when you start trying to go up the inside, starting to skate out a little bit more here. This does feel more sl what you would call slick to me than that other rain track that I rode on. It really does feel more just more like like a wet track would actually feel. I don't know if it's like something to do with the sand traction is kind of like mixing and melding together with the rain on top of it traction in the game and that's what's giving it that extra kind of slick feeling because you guys know how sand is it's got that feeling like it's almost like you're gonna lose your front end all the time especially when you're going slow so that may be what it's kind of it's like it's mixing that with the rain feeling versus just having like a hard pack track which is really good traction with a little bit of slick rain on it which is not really gonna feel all that slick in the game even though I thought it should have felt a little bit more slick than it did um, but this is feeling more like what I think true a true wet track would actually feel like like going into the corners and stuff trying not to crash here Okay, but I mean, as far as visually, aesthetically, like, absolutely amazing. I mean, you know, breathtaking levels of graphical, you know, and, and I've thought that about these Milestone games. I really have. I've always thought that about them. <laughs> but collision, you know, could definitely use a little bit of work, but, you know, graphically pretty cool. And just the, like, when I first got on the track, even though I've rode on the normal version of this track quite a few times, I didn't even realize which track I was on because that's how different the the atmospheric fog kind of rain mist you know skybox and all that stuff can give the feeling to the track and it feeling like darker outside kind of got that you know doom gloom cloudy type of feel to it so uh, that was really cool to see that and obviously you can put just the wet track without the rain and you can have just cloudy without the rain or the wet track or you can just have totally clear yes that that's what rain will do right there that's what i was looking for um you know that where that just like it'll just slide off of something right there i love the way that looked right there this is looking a lot better in a mud sense to me uh it's feeling a lot better in a mud sense to me than that other track that i was on previously so this is really really cool right here okay now it may not feel that much different to you guys but i'm i'm getting that feeling like this is this just feels a lot slicker to me than that other that other track I was on with mud, I don't know why it's doing that, but uh, for whatever reason, this just feels more like it, in my opinion. This feels a lot closer to what I wanted it to, wanted all of the wet tracks to, the slickness that I wanted all the wet tracks to at least have somewhat of. This has got way more of that, in my opinion. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, you got to be real careful coming out of the corners. You just got to be a little bit more throttle control can't hit stuff quite as hard, can't just be quite as blindly going through the sections, you know, you actually have to think about what you're doing in the corner, right, like see me kind of sliding into it, into the entry of the corner, and then obviously once you get on the throttle, you got to be a little bit careful, because it will slide somewhat coming out of the exit of the corner, let's try to go a little bit faster around this, okay, maybe it's all in my head, I don't know, <laughs> I mean, you guys know how the human mind can think this and then think that and it's not really like that i don't know that could definitely be a possibility i could just be thinking well this is sand rain so this feels amazing but i, I don't really realize what i'm actually directly comparing it back to that other rain track i don't know for sure but i'm just saying it feels slicker like straight up it just feels better to me it feels slicker feels more like actual mud rain in real life so okay all right, so let's go around and try to actually pick up the speed a little bit. Yeah, dude, that would be so cool if they had a uh, tear-off system in this game, actually having the mud fly up on the goggles. Let's do a little bit of first person, man. <laughs> dude, that looks pretty cool. It really does. Okay. Like, wow, that is that is starting to get, like, to the realism graphical. Okay, listen, people, graphically realistic uh, to the point where it's like you, you almost feel like you're like real life <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's it's starting to get close to that i'm not even gonna lie like that is straight up about the graphical level especially with the rain mode right for whatever reason the rain is like on another level so that that seems to take you into like this god dang that just looks so real <laughs> like i don't know i mean obviously the front fender is not quite as real as you might expect certain stuff like that but just the you know the mud on the track that type of stuff is amazing the way they've done that in this game 
Um, you know, you've got to give a round of applause to Milestone for their mud, the way they've been able to do that. Like, man, I, I've been impressed from day one on it, but this is this is like graphically like next level for sure. Um, so let's see here. But yeah, I mean, so we got five minutes left plus a lap or two. Okay, so come around like this. Yeah, man, they just, they've got that mud graphical look to it figured out for sure. Um, like that is the most realistic mud effect in a motocross game that I've ever seen. Very, very similar, like I've been saying in quite a few of my videos, to the mud, to the rain effect in those, uh, you know, the, what game am I thinking of? I can't believe I forgot. Forza, Forza, however you say that, right? Got like a million of those games out there. Um, some of their newer ones, right, with their rain modes, like probably the most realistic rain in any car racing game. Um, and that actually does have it where the rain will gather up on the, the front uh, window windshield. And I'm pretty sure it does on like even just the screen itself. The rain will gather up on that as well, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I one of the ones that I played, I'm pretty sure it did that. But yeah, it felt super realistic in a graphical sense, right? How the rain actually looked in that. This is very, very similar to that. It's like it's almost like you just took that rain mode off of Forza and then threw it into a motocross game, uh, minus it actually, you know, sticking up on the screen and, you know, actually having like water droplets up on the screen and stuff. But other than that, it's almost identical to that. So it's pretty cool how... Uh, you know, they've got it to that graphical level at this point. It's cool to see a motocross game get there, man. Um, you know, like I've always said in the past, graphics is not that big of a deal to me in a motocross game, but it's cool to see it. I mean, I'm not over here hating on these amazing graphics. Like, this shit's awesome. You know, I'm not, I am not trying to question that whatsoever. It's just, uh, you know, I think a lot of people, they don't fully understand, like, what realistic physics in a motocross game is like they don't they don't they haven't fully grasped that either they haven't played reflex or they've never gotten into a motocross simulator or whatever the case may be right um so then they're, they're it's almost like they are somewhat blinded somewhat just just misunderstood to the to the amazing physics of some of the older motocross games out there it's like they just don't understand it there's a lot of guys that do understand it but i think a very small portion of you that have actually sat down and played a shitload of reflex on console and pc and all that and you've played like mx simulator stuff the there is a very small portion of you guys that are going to prefer the physics of a game like a milestone motocross game or something like that or mx versus adv supercross or something over those like reflex and mx simulator super i'm, I'm telling you it's probably like one percent of you guys that would prefer that um over you know the old school games and stuff uh like reflex and stuff like that that have actually played reflex a considerable amount have actually played mx simulator because you like i think the majority of people that you know, like this stuff a lot physics wise and think this is like super good physics. Talking about the air physics, obviously. Um, like I'll I'll agree with you. Ground physics are fairly decent in this game, but obviously air physics, jump design, jump difficulty, that type of crap, right? Jump height, all that kind of stuff. Um uh, and obviously some of the just little mm, buggy janky stuff that the milestone games have had in them. Uh stuff like that, right? The people that prefer that over like reflex or mx simulator it's just i think the majority of them they just haven't really experienced those other motocross games so they don't really understand it you get what i'm saying they might have played reflex for a little while or they might have tried mx simulator but those games they're, they have such a skill gap such an advanced level to the actual filling on the bike that if you don't play them for a considerable amount of time then you don't fully understand them especially mx simulator for damn sure but even reflex you know on console um stuff like that like if you've only played reflex on pc you don't truly understand reflex in my opinion physics wise thought it was way better on the 360 as far as that goes but 
MX Simulator for sure. I mean, there's a lot of people that play that game that never ever get to the point where the physics actually start becoming really fun in the game. You know, they never ever get to that level. They just get to a level where still feels pretty stale on the bike, still feels pretty stagnant, but they just don't get to that full level. So either way, god dang, let me get on some crazy topics here. Let's actually start talking about the uh the track a little bit more and how it's developed you know mud tester i mean honestly hasn't really changed the on track pretty pretty what you would expect from a mud track right real life like it's definitely making some like ruts and visual stuff not really changing too much um but yeah looks great i mean this these type of mud tester videos are going to be quite a bit different than a rut tester that's on a normal track with terrain deformation because most mud terrain deformations are not going to be making anything remotely close to the level of like actually making ruts in the corner or making roughness or anything like that i mean it's definitely moving the dirt around like you can see that and visually it looks amazing how it's doing that but as far as actually changing anything not not really doing that which that's kind of how mud is anyways like i've always said so uh but i mean yeah looks amazing thought uh the sand having the sand rain mode in the game is a lot more like what i would think mud would be in the game oh god don't know how that happened but um yeah i mean just absolutely amazing visuals here um don't know how much more i can really say that but it is for sure uh so yeah, but there is definitely a little bit of a different skill to being able to go fast in this game on the mud versus the non-mud, um, and I would like to definitely go test some more of the other uh, types of tracks. I know there's like there's like intermediate dirt, right? There's another one of those slide outs. Really good to see that. Um, there's like intermediate dirt. There's clay. There's hard pack. There's sand. There's even like a sand hard packed, I think, or something like that in the game. So all of those should feel slightly different with the mud mode on, with the rain mode on. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can do rain on just about every track in the game. So that is a really cool feature that they have in there. Um, you know, it's cool that it's not just like on one or two of the tracks, right? Like you can have these totally different track experiences on all of the different tracks out there because you can put the rain mode or just cloudy mode or just wet track mode without rain on basically all of them i'm pretty sure so that is very very good to see that and i would expect that they would keep that up in their future games as well but yeah i've just slowly started to creep into the back of the pack here it's one of those things you're just gonna have to be super consistent if you're wanting to run up front on the rain mode like this uh like you just as long as you don't crash and you'll be okay but i'm trying to kind of push the limits on it a little bit to see how much it really will cause you to slide and stuff like i'm not riding it like you would if you're trying to race it out or whatever like i'm actually trying to test the bike on it here so let's see let's try to just kind of hold her wide around this corner oh you see that right there it starts getting slidey starts getting skatey on you yep up over like that if i can get away from some of these dudes we'll be able to do it a little better here but uh yeah it's just you gotta you gotta actually have a little bit of mental capacity to ride on a whoa betsy that that corner gets me every time right over those little slick rollers it's kind of cool uh, it's kind of cool how it did that right there okay jump up over that obviously the jumps are going to be a little bit more difficult but like that right there you know i was kind of turned off of the jump face a little bit like it would have allowed me to land that had it not been rain mode on you, you know you got to be a lot more precise with your not, not having the bike turned at all coming off the jump face different stuff like that just like you would in real life right um okay so let's see here uh but yeah as far as the jumps in the mud i mean it's not really going to be that i know this track doesn't have that big of jumps because it's more of a sand track but I don't think you're going to get as much of a sketch feeling on the jumps like you would in real life wet track jumps. Um, you guys know if hitting jumps in real life uh, on its wet, muddy uh, type of terrain, it's pretty hardcore gnarly. Like, you know, it's it's uh, it's about as sketchy as it gets in motocross when you're out there trying to huck huge jumps in the wet rain off of the jump faces the bike gets squirrely off of the jump faces and slides and you do those accidental whips off of the faces without even trying to right <laughs> like one of the biggest whips i ever did in real life was 
110% complete accident because it was, uh, it was, I think they actually watered the track quite a bit before the race. It wasn't even wet as in like rain on the track. It was just, they had like super watered it and I came over a tabletop and like, I don't know if I turned a little bit over the face or if it just started sliding up the face, but I just held it wide open, just went up over it and it kicked that bike way out to the side, dude. And somehow I saved it, but, uh, yeah, man, that was one of my first experiences with actually whipping in real life. Then I actually learned how to do it. So, uh, yeah, that was fun doing all that. But it's just mud is a big aspect of motocross. It really is. Uh, and it's something I feel like sh does belong in any motocross game out there. Mud, rain, wet track, right, all that kind of stuff. I feel like is something that just it's it's like it's just as important as having a hard pack dirt track or a sand track or whatever like rain is just another one of those things that belongs in a motocross game so either way appreciate you guys watching all the videos later dudes